Come on. Come on, buddy. Whoa! <laughs> What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. We are here in Wilmington, Delaware doing a carp episode today and it is bright and early. We are doing a pre-work pre morning session, very quick session that is. We're only going to be out for about two, two and a half hours. We will hopefully get some carp. I do have one of my co-workers joining me today, one of the doctors that I work with, so I'm hoping that I can put him on his very first carp. And we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today though. Um, we're gonna be doing a combination, we're gonna be using four rods, and we are gonna be doing, just using tiger nuts and corn for our bait today. Specifically, using them in combination with each other. I've caught in a lot of carp using fake corn um, with tiger nuts on a on a hair rig. Um, so I'm trying. I'm going to be using a combination of corn with tiger nuts as well as fake corn and tiger nuts, and doing it a variety of different ways and showing you how effective it can be for catching these carp. So stay tuned, guys. First rod here. We're going to be using Juicy Pear Tiger Nut with a piece of Juicy Pear Corn. So Tiger Nuts are very, very effective as you've seen in one of my videos that um, they, can, they can work in a variety of ways. You can use them um, for, for pre-baiting, crushing them up, and use them for pre-baiting. You can use them as hook baits. And the one thing I like about them too is they do kind of help keep the turtles away. Especially from an area where there's a lot of turtles. These tiger nuts can work pretty good. Rod number one is all set. Alright, rod number two, what we're going to do is I'm going to sandwich a tiger nut with two pieces of juicy pear corn. So there's, it'll essentially be three pieces of a hook bait on here. All right, guys, that's what that's gonna look like. All right, rod number three. This has been one of my go-to baits this year. This specific setup, we're using a uh, one fake piece of maize. We're going to be using one fake, we're going to be using a one piece tiger knot that's going to be popped up on one fake piece of maize. This has been a pretty good bait for me this year. And for the last rod, we're going to be using a uh, fake piece of regular corn. The first one was, uh, was more of a pop up corn, but this is going to be a sinking corn. That's the boy, that's the one we used. This is the sinking corn. We're gonna use this. A little bit different from the other one that we're using. So two rods are gonna have fake pieces of corn on there essentially. Okay, so we're gonna be putting the tiger nut on here first. the fake piece of sinking corn on there so we are all set we're gonna get these casted out Is he? I know. Oh, <laughs> the whatever carp bottom on. is swimming away. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab the net. Whoa, babe. Yep, this is a carp probably. <clears throat> I 
How does it feel? He's tough. He's, he's still taking the line. Yep. Yeah. Just try to bring him over this way if you can. Just be careful with the... He's, he's, he's off moving again, it looks yeah, like. Yeah. yeah, I think this might be a carp. So. Come on, run the pop. <laughs> run the pop. Yeah, these reels are nice because it has the bait runner reel so that when they take it, the line just peels. It just peels, yeah. <laughs> of course, they're in high. It's high. They're just they're, it just drops off so quick here too with the. <clears throat> yeah, big old car. Yeah. There you go. It's a nice one. It'll probably go about ten, maybe eleven. Yeah. Oh, hold on. About the side. Oh. He jumped ah. out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what they do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what they do. Let me see if I can do this. Try to. I'll try to. There we go. You're tired, buddy. Give it up. Well, Give that's, it that's up. your first carp. There you go. That's a good and then we'll just bring him to. I have a little cradle over there. Yeah, I just, saw that one. It came up. We'll just drop him in there, essentially. Oh. Right there. 14, 8, 14, 14, 7. So the net's, uh, so you're looking at 13 pounds. Not bad, huh? 13 pounds. There he goes. Well, you're not so eager now, are you? <laughs> he was eager in there, see, and then he All just right. swims off back into the depths. I can't tell what this one is. Little guy? You think so? Screaming though, wasn't it? This one might be. I can't tell. It's just. This is a. a uh, this might be. A, this might be a baby carp. Or it might be a cat. And this is a. This is a. I think this is a carp. <laughs> Are they fine? <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> you got a lot of action here. Yeah. <clears throat> Good to your net. Yeah, if you can just get, just, you see, it's kind of folded up there a little bit. All right, guys, we just released the first one and we got this other one here. Another hot, hot action. These tiger nuts, corn combination. I didn't even get the first rod back out. Oh, buddy, don't don't go over there. Come over here. Uh oh. He just decided he didn't want to come to the party. Yeah. They always they always fight harder at the bank. <clears throat> Save that last. And the first. and the smaller ones just. Yeah, you can just throw that out over there. The water's so warm, actually. I was, I could feel it in my boots a little bit. It's like bath water. Yeah, yeah. I brought my waders in the car, but I thought I'd come out and see what it looks like. Yeah. Put them on. Yeah. 
Come on, carp. Let's go. I'm trying to just manhandle him a little bit over here. Carp? He's small. Yeah, I think he's a small one. I could just tell. When they move around like that a lot, it's like they have to be, they, they can't be like that big, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's watch his foot in there. There we go. We'll bring him back to our cradle. <clears throat> Carp number two. There he goes. Fish on? Fish, yeah. on. Fish on. Carp on maybe. Let's see. <clears throat> Big one? He could just be getting out some debris too. That's kind of how it is. Just try to let them work it out too. Don't put too much pressure because yeah. sometimes it'll... He, he might have a big one on, Jim. He, might, he might have a big one on. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, whoa. Jim, what do you got there? <laughs> oh. Come on, Bessie. Come on, Bessie. Uh, I don't know if you into the shore. Yep, just take your time with him. Let him do, let him do his thing too. He might, might just be coming towards shore yeah, with you. With and then he's gonna fight like crazy at the. He's gonna fight like crazy at the bank. Yeah. It's usually how it is. Let's see. So, oh, he might be. Uh, oh. That's a carp. That's a carp. It's good. This is Jim's third carp. He can, he can pull it before us. Yeah. I gotta tell you, this specific bait uh, rod's been having a lot of action today. Oh, okay. Go ahead. We're just literally hand netting this. I'll tell you, the smaller one's just. Yeah, it's a nice one. See, they feel heavy because they're probably near branches and all. Not yet, not yet. He almost got him. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice one. Maybe not as big as your first one, but still, so. still nice. I felt like I was pulling in the ocean. <laughs> Too bad. Perfect hook. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Put this over here. Seven, ten, four, nice. ten and a half, maybe. See the nine pound carp. Okay. And then that's about a little over a pound. Okay. So nine pounds is not bad. Decent fish. Yeah, I'll get you a picture. All right, guys, that's all we have for today. Uh, short session, only out for about two hours. We caught about four carp, had a couple runs that we missed. Um, one broke off, but very productive day, as you can see. Um, the the corn tiger nut combo really did the trick. So it's, it's very effective. I, I encourage you to try that specific combo. It's, it's good. Um, never had any problems with it. So as you can see, we've caught in that we caught a few carp on different kinds of that combination with the fake corn, tiger nut, real corn, tiger nut, vice versa kind of thing. So I appreciate you watching this video. We'll see you next time on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care, guys.